is your boy Vin, and today we're gonna be doing the world's hardest riddles, like this one here. Can you spot the agents? So we're trying to find someone undercover. All right, who, who do we think it is? This blue guy? Nah, he's too happy. Maybe the guy with the camera. I'm assuming it's him. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, they tried to brief. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Can we spot the next agents? All right. It's going to have to be this guy here. What, what is this? He's using a microphone in the flower, right? That must be it. The guy in the left. Ugh, too easy. A married couple. Oh, no money. We're tired of their money problems. Damn, that's relatable. <laughs> and decided to jump off a skyscraper. <laughs> that's not funny. A skyscraper together on three... The husband jumped off, but the wife didn't. A few seconds later, a chute opened over his head. Damn. Who is the betrayer? Who is the betrayer here, guys? They both are going to jump off together. I'm going to have to say it's the husband because he's got the parachute. Maybe the wife was a bit scared. I don't know. I'm certain it's the guy. He's the betrayer. The husband. It was probably her survival instinct that made her freeze, but obviously he planned the betrayal. You naughty, naughty. A newly wedded couple was walking over the falls. Oh, taking selfies. That's cute. And then he pushes her off. Could you jump down the falls to prove your love to me? Oh, oh, so we're watching Disney right now. The guy looked sadly at his wife and slowly approached the precipical. How do you pronounce that? Turning around, he told her just one word. <laughs> Bro's crying. What did he say? He said, No, I ain't doing that, you dumb bitch. What did he say? Push. Wait, she didn't push him. Push him. It was late Sunday evening when April was killed. Police questioned the suspects. Her friend Claire. I came by during the day and saw her working. So she came by. All right. Her roommate, Melanie. I went to the post office and came back late. Hmm. Next door neighbor, Jeremy. I came home at 2 p.m. and found her dead. Who is lying? Jeremy found her body. Melanie was at the post office. All right. Claire went by her house earlier. She was the last person to be with... Uh, who died again? I forgot. Whoever died, it's going to have to be Claire. Or maybe Melanie's hiding something in her pocket. Lock in your answer, guys. I'm going Claire. Ah! What? They both did it. What? Post offices don't work on Sundays. Oh, yeah, they don't. If she was out and April was dead, who opened the door to Jeremy? Man, I can't be a detective. <laughs> did you guys get that one right? That was a hard one. Which line is longer? Uh, A? Isn't it? Is there more to this? Is it B? B is clearly shorter, but there's going to be some stupid thing that, that's going to come up. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with A. No, I'll do B. I'll do B, just in case. Bruh. Oh, what is the mistake? Well, the one on the left, her eyes. Oh, both of their eyes. It's not positioned correctly. It looks like I'm looking at them directly. It doesn't look like it's upside down. Because when you flip my eyes upside down real quick. Yeah, see, you can you notice the difference right away. It's 100% the eyes. Oh my. It was the lips as well. <laughs> Hang on. That looks scary. One day, John was waiting for his train in the subway. It's a juicy apple you've got there. He was eating an apple he always had for breakfast. Okay. Suddenly, he sees a homeless man and throws the apple at his head. Wait, what would do his hair? Do you guys see that? Pig, said the homeless man. Bosak chin. Oh, oh, human, human. Chicken. What's going on here? So rude, thought John. Apple. <laughs> His bro's hair went crazy again. Why was he so horrified? Why? Because his breath smelled like apples. The hobo was able to tell what people last ate. He said human to the first man. Oh, bro ate a human? That was a morbid one, guys. Can you spot a mistake here in 20 seconds? But try to solve it as fast as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Red, green, purple, uh, cream, blue, green, purple, brown. What is the mistake? Oh, green, the green color. Uh, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What? How did I miss that? Did you guys get that? Please tell me I'm not the only idiot here. Please tell me I'm not the only idiot. Who is not poor? Mm, 
Have you guys seen it? Who out of these people? I'm going to say it's the lady on the right. You can see her necklace and her heels as well. Yeah. Yeah. Too easy. Who is the real father? Laura, let's go home. And B says, Laura, mum's waiting. What the? Wouldn't she know her own dad? Wait, the guy on the left has... Is that his glasses or is that handcuffs? The guy on the right has lollipop. The guy on the left is the real dad. It's the left guy. Because he's got the teddy that, you know, is obviously hers. What the hell's going on here? Wait, huh? that's... We got, we got scammed again! I'm sick of these riddles scamming me like this! Guys, is it the left or the right? You tell me in the comment section, though. Tell me, tell me real quick. Stand! please if you think you are stupid oh my god one boy stood up that's me do you really think you're stupid uh yes yes i do oh why not but why did you stand up then why did he stand up because he needs to go to the toilet that's why i felt uncomfortable of you standing alone <laughs> He got pranked. Ricky's parents report to the police that one of their neighbors has tried to kidnap Ricky. The boy was scared a lot and couldn't tell them who it was. But he drew a portrait of that person. Okay, let's see. The detective said, What the hell is even that? The man was turned into a monster in his mind because of the fear. And yet it can help them find the criminal. Here are the suspects was in the office that day yeah sure mrs combs i was painting the fence mr gray with a bit of green on oh. his suit i haven't left home this week as i'm sick mr banner he is the closest looking person to the monster that's too obvious right it's gonna be the guy on the left because of the hair the guy on the left lock it in baby green paint as well Mr. Gray cleaned his face and hands, but missed the spots on the trousers. And that's 25 years in jail, baby. Get out of here. Who is an alien? A, B, or C? A, we're looking at the size of the fingers. B, all right, looks pretty normal so far. And C, oh, couldn't be that extra oh. long pinky. Dude, that is a long pinky. What are the size of your pinkies, guys? Jeez, it's gonna have to be C. That's the alien. Got him. Now anal probe me. What? Huh? The art classes take place in the prison each Monday. <laughs> What's bro drawing on the right? The prisoners are escorted all the way to the art studio and back. They are always searched after each class. They're only allowed to have their own art supplies. One of the prisoners is going to escape. Oh, which one is it? How can he do this? How will he be able to escape? Um... Oh no, we're running out of time. Uh, the one on the right. Oh! <laughs> Wait! He looked the most suspicious. I didn't know how he was going to do it, though. Changes the water to green. Dyes his shirt green. Oh, my. He dyes his clothes to blend in with the prison guards. Very smart. A thousand IQ, baby. You see two people in front of you holding knives. Bro, what is going on? I would be running away. One of them is your wife. All right. The other is her crazy twin sister who wants to kill the both of you. Both of them have knives. You're holding a gun, which only has one bullet. Oh, the plot thickens. If you make a mistake, you'll kill your wife and you'll die. If you choose the right one, you and your wife will be saved. How do you determine who the liar is? In the caption, it says if you choose the right one. So I'm gonna have to pick the right one. The one on the right. Ask them to drop their knives. The one who won't is the one you should shoot. Oh. Yeah, so I, pick, I picked the right one anyway, right? Guys, we shoot the left one because I picked the right one to survive, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We saved our wife. Let's go. <laughs> Victory Royale. A photojournalist entered the dangerous caves to take some pictures. Suddenly, the cave started shaking. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I won't do that again. The journalist had to run out, but he forgot which way he got there. Ooh, there are four tunnels. All right, they all look the same. Poisonous bats will kill you immediately in the top left one. Heat from the underground will burn anyone. Toxic gas will kill any kind of animal. Humans are animals, so can't go through there. Radioactive plants will kill you with one touch. 
The last one looks like Mario. Which way is the safest? That's obviously poisonous death right away. The flames, it will burn you, but I think you survive. So the second one, I would have to say, is the safest. The gas kills any kind of animal. Humans are animals! What a... What a... What, a, what, what? what the hell, man? Aren't we animals? And that's all we've got for today. Thank you for letting me be a part of your day. And if you guys have any other video ideas, comment them down below. And if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!